Well, hello. Um, okay, I'm going to fix the camera a little bit. Okay. Okay. Hello. Well, today I'm going to share a little bit of tips uh, for you out there who's uh, looking to um, improve yourself in playing uh, ragtime blues or um, it's like the all, all time uh, early jazz, early blues stuff. Um, uh, I think it's going to help me. At least I hope so. <laughs> okay, uh, I made a little bit of uh, notes here. The first you need to do is uh, you have to, you know, you have to sp uh, spare uh, uh, every now and then time to listen to uh, lots of uh, ragtime and blues recordings. Um, this is like a, a simple thing that uh, you can commit yourself into, but. Uh, I think this is going to uh, make a huge difference in the long run, okay? Um, you just, uh, maybe you, you can spare a half an hour uh, a day or one hour a day, just uh, any, uh, any, any kind that uh, fits into your schedule. And maybe you uh, sit and you truly listen to uh, the music and w whatever it is. Uh, uh, it, it works for any uh, kind of other music also uh, you can if you, uh, you 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 learn to uh, listen and you you learn to use your your ears uh, it's it's good if you already know how to uh, read music read tablature but listening it's it's like a simple thing that uh, people forget to do and in my opinion it's just as important as uh, learning your your chops okay so you you need to the first tip is you need to sit and listen, commit yourself to listening to uh, lots of ragtime ragtime blues recordings, uh, and you know yeah that's the first one you you listen to if uh, if you are specifically aiming for ragtime blues, then you maybe it's a, a good idea to listen to ragtime piano players, uh, ragtime bands like Dixieland bands or the twenties early 20s, um, 30s stuff, okay, okay, that's the first tip, the second tip is, uh, you need to uh, learn the lyrics, okay, um, pay attention to the lyrics, and you need to uh, read the history of the players, the history of the music, it's going to, uh, it's like, it's going to enrich your, um, your knowledge, and I think it's going to improve your playing in a sense because uh, we're talking about culture here and um, anyways and it's uh, going to pay respects to all those guys who started all um, I don't know why but uh, many people missing this uh, many uh, many people just uh, you know just skip this part and thinking that oh history is you know this is not important or it's not going to make um, a difference in your playing but trust me man it works and um, you need to uh, uh, any kind of literature you can find if you if you live in the in the states um, then consider yourself really lucky or if you uh, have the opportunity to go into the source and consider yourself very lucky because I, for one, uh, I don't think I can ever step my foot <laughs> in the U.S. soil, so, you know. I'm quite old and I don't have the kind of uh, um, money or anything to to do that kind of stuff. So, uh, what I did, just I just immersed myself and, you know, by uh, reading books, uh, learning all the cultures, uh, by learning from all the, the players, uh, and learning from the younger generations who also uh, re got really hooked up in the type of music and who is uh, really close to the source, okay? And, you know, just um, uh, liter literature is very important and it's going to, uh, it's going to give you uh, lots of things in, in the long run. And that's the second tip, okay? Uh, learn. Uh, learn, uh, pay attention to the lyrics and learn the history. Um, and if you know what these guys think, um, if you if you know that or what all these guys, uh, if you know how they think, how they 
uh, approach the music and everything is going to enrich your um, enrich your experience and uh, it's going to enrich your music also okay that's the second tip um, the third tip okay this is uh, this is a technical okay this is a technical side of the of the tip I think this is the only technical uh, side of the, uh, of of the tip okay it's like oh when you um if you're already familiar with um a basic basic uh, ragtime blues then maybe you can uh, think like uh, I'm, uh, i think it's a good idea to you know this, this kind of concept is simple but it's just uh maybe just i i had a very thick skull so you know just <laughs> written re it really need a long time to get through my head to this brain of mine okay so um it's like when you play a c you it's good if you can uh, learn all the positions across the fretboard like uh all, almost all right time players use this kind of c you know this is c7 and you can play it here okay there are all kind of stuff and this is a little bit new i think it's just, this is um you can play it like this uh, this is c7 but I kind of I kind of found this uh, recently. I, I don't know, but once again, I had a really thick skull. So yeah, this is a C7, but it's like I'm taking that uh, the the very high string, so it gives a little bit of more sound of a nice tone. Okay, at least in my in my opinion, and uh, learn that for any uh, for the other chords as well. It's like when you play A. You can play this one, and you can play it. Um, where is it? Oh, like this. You can play it like this. E. You can play it like this. You can play it like this. You can play it like this. Or you can play it like what I showed you earlier. Or you can play it like Gary Davis used to play. Okay, that's all. That's uh, what I meant with um, familiar, familiarizing yourself with uh, all all the all the chords uh, across the fretboard, and it's going to give you uh, all kinds of effect. And uh, yeah, I think it's really important. But <laughs> I missed that one, you know, because I never had any lesson whatsoever. So I just I just uh, really learned by hearing and watching what people play um so okay that's uh that's the third tip the fourth is uh teach yourself to sing man it's it doesn't matter whether uh you sound like you know like whatever you think it is <laughs> i think myself is not a not a good singer i'm not a good singer but mm, at least i i learned man I'm I'm quite uh, I'm currently struggling in learning to sing. Okay, uh, I'm not going to make uh, make it into the you know like the world idol or things like that. But well, uh, at least if if you learn to sing, you uh, if you get a, a better understanding on how to play the music, and it is uh, it it is even more important when you like me. Uh, I'm playing by myself. I have no other accompaniment, and uh, by learning to sing, I can control the dynamics of my play. I can control the uh, how I want uh, uh, myself, how I want to, uh, I want the song to feels like, you know, how I want to deliver it to the audience. Even though I'm still struggling to, uh, you know, like master it, and I'm still far away from mastering it. Okay. Um, okay, that's uh, that's about the singing part. Okay, learn to sing. That's the that's the fourth. Okay, that's the fourth tip. And this is the fifth. Is uh, you need to make a habit of recording yourself. Uh, it's like I I had a habit of uh, recording myself, and so I can keep track of uh, my progress. You know, um, and I tend to forget uh, my you know my uh, any kind of ideas. I'm a forgetful guy, you know. So 
that's why uh, that's the main reason uh, I I create uh, the my, my channel is because I I wanted to uh, to make, uh, record a video and so it doesn't get lost or anything. So I, I upload it here and I put it in another uh, desk there and put it in another place. So I don't. So that that idea isn't missing because uh, on my early days. I, th I forgot lots of songs, man. It's like, um, there are songs that, uh, I think I have that kind of song, you know, but it's it's gone. And I don't have any clue on how to play it. I don't have any clue on how it sounds, but I know it's there, you know. There's the stuff like that. So, uh, you know, you, you need to get yourself in the habit of recording yourself uh, and, and uh, you know, just to keep track of your progress. Okay, that's the fifth. The sixth is um, okay. This is one I think uh, it is important if uh, if you want to be a musician, you know. Um, I the uh, let me tell you that the main reason I rarely do cover because I have so much respect for the source material and. You know, there are lots of times that when I when I do covers, I don't think that um, it uh, you know it resembles the source material and it really disappoints me. You know, uh, because when I love something, I I wanted to you know I want when I do uh, covers, I want to make sure that I get the song. Okay, and it's hard for me because as uh, you all know, or probably most of you know. Or few, I don't know. That I'm a sloppy guy. I make mistakes all the time, man. Every time I play, I make all kinds of mistakes. So, well, it's not a good habit. I told you. Oh, I tell you that. But, uh, anyways, um, it's um, okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, um, it's good if you can make cover. Uh, if it's good if you can play it, uh, like Gary Davis. You, it's good if you can play like a big Bill Brunzi. It's good if you can play like Blind Boy Fuller. It's uh, you know it's cool if you can play the whole song just exactly the same as Blind Boy Fuller sing it and play it, or like Reverend Gary Davis sing it and play it, or just any kind of guy. It's cool if you can do that. But I don't know. I mean, if I really want to hear something that sounds like Blind Boy Fuller. Who sings Blind Boy Fuller's song? I would really prefer to hear to Blind Boy Fuller. It's that simple. Um, so that's the main reason I don't do covers, okay? And um, so if you if you think that um, if you can play like that, it's cool. But in my opinion, in my most humble opinion, it's good if you can, you know. Uh, just gather all the knowledge that you got from all these guys, all these greats, and you know, make something like maybe like a simple song or something that resembles all, all their, their playings, and you know, just all kinds of ideas and makes it into one song, and you know, just create. Okay, I think um, that's a good practice. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think it's something important that you can. Uh, you can get all your knowledge about something and create some uh, create something out of it okay so yeah just create that's my sixth step okay create something just even just uh, even though it's just a maybe it's a simple simple song or a short one minute song but I don't know as long as you you're making something of out of what you learn okay and if you want to share it then feel free to share it and you know, it's a good habit if you can uh, share your songs to people, you know. Um, I don't know, it's like... It's going to build your confidence. Maybe, I don't know. I, I did it quite a, quite a lot, but I'm still not confident enough. <laughs> okay. That's the sixth tip, okay? And this is the seventh tip, and maybe the last tip. Back to listen to early recordings uh, once again. This is very very important if you want if you really want to get a, a really get, want to get good at uh, playing ragtime blues, but this time uh, add like some vocal some vocal songs 
gospel songs like um, chain gang songs or anything that maybe doesn't have guitar in it but wind instruments like a uh, harp harp player or I don't know banjo mandolin or violin folk songs um, gospel anything like that and the main reason why uh, why I, uh, I recommend you to do this because it's uh, basically these guys uh, plays just almost the same songs these guys um, it's not it's not the same song maybe just a similar song but with each of their own way you know and uh, you know it's, it's just it's just uh, the roots are almost the same man and uh, you know it's, it's just interconnecting and it's doing to complete each other okay if you're done with the seventh step uh, I'm, what I meant by uh, listen to uh, all the harp or maybe like um, anything that doesn't have any guitar in it maybe it's not interesting for you okay at the time but still give it a listen you know okay that's about the seventh tip and in my notes that's about it um, if you you know if you're a beginning uh, if you're a beginner okay and I'm a I'm a beginner I'm, I always consider myself as a beginner so uh, if you do this um, you know just record yourself right now and you can commit yourself to doing all this uh, all these tips and just uh, go go record yourself uh, maybe a year from now or maybe six months and I don't know you just tell me uh, whether you, you you improve or not okay because I really think that uh, you're going to improve uh, it's like everything that's good uh, needs uh, all kinds of disciplines okay? you need to uh, you need to invest uh, some time and this these are the kind of times that uh, this, these are the kind of things that I will really uh, invest my time into you know I, I want to be really, really good okay okay I think that's about it um, well it's, it's been it's been uh, quite a long time since I wanted to make a video like this and I think that I need to speak a little bit more because uh, I I really think that my, my English needs uh, some all kinds of improvements okay I feel like oh well too much man okay I think that's about it and the battery is running low so thank you I hope this has helped okay bye bye again <laughs>